What's up guys? Future Concepts Screencast here. For those of you that didn't know, you have the ability to add PDFs to the iBooks application so you can read PDFs on the iPad, on the iPhone or the iPod Touch. Any of those that can support the iBooks application. And it also, the iBooks app also supports other ebook formats. So what I'm going to show you today is how to add PDFs to iTunes so then you can sync them over to your uh, iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad. What's required of you is you need to have iTunes 9.2. That's the recent update to iTunes. You need to have iOS 4 on whatever device it is that you're syncing the PDF to. And the devices, like I said, is either an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch. If you want to quickly add a document or a web page to your books collection in iTunes, all you need to do is create an alias of the iTunes app first. So we're going to see here's the iTunes application. So you're going to right click, go to make alias. And right now we're just going to leave it as just iTunes alias for now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag that iTunes alias to the library slash PDF services folder. So I'm going to open up a new finder window. Put these side by side so you can see. And I'm going to go to Macintosh hard drive, open up the library folder, and look for the PDF services folder. And here it is. And as you can see, there's already some workflows that were already there from uh, Automator. So I'm just going to drag this iTunes alias over there. There you go. And if you, for some reason, you don't have that PDF services folder, you can easily just create it. So now, all you need to do is if you're browsing the internet, and you're viewing documents and you decide that you want to read one later on one of your portable Apple devices then all you gotta do is click print so let's go to one where there's a lot of text letter from Apple regarding iPhone 4 you want to print that so go to file print and it pops up as if you were gonna print actually print the page so we're gonna click here on the PDF and as you can see there's the iTunes alias that we just made so you're going to click that and open up iTunes. When you go to your books in your library section, you're going to see that I did the letter from Apple. And if you double click it, it's going to open it up in preview. So now to get that to your devices, you just need to sync your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch. And you will find the PDFs in your iBooks application. More iBooks friendly way of doing that. So it looks nicer on your portable device is if you go to certain websites using Safari 5 there's the reader option in the address bar and what that does it makes it easier for you to read the text on the page kind of consolidates all the text together and makes it all easier so then so it looks nicer on your portable device just print and do the same thing go to PDF click on your iTunes alias there and then when you go to iTunes it'll be there with nice big text now to rename it just going to find the go back to the folder PDF services and instead of iTunes alias you can just rename it as send to iTunes and when you go and print something or when you go and want to save it in your iTunes library well then once you click on PDF it's gonna say send to iTunes so whatever you name it as it'll see it here and it'll sort it alphabetically 